Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error that is MSVCP140 underscore codec VT underscore IDS dot DLL or VC runtime 140 or MSVCP140 dot DLL was not found. So if you are receiving this error message while launching this game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go ahead and install this DLL file. For this, go ahead and copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Now on this website here you can see architecture is 64 bit over here and 32 bit so you can go ahead and check which version you have so go to settings go to system and then click on about now in my case it's 64 bit so you can go ahead and download the 64 bit click on download and once the download is complete you have to go ahead and extract the zip file so go to the download location click on show in folder make a right click select an extract and then once the extract is done open this folder now copy this dll file make a right click copy it go to this pc open c drive open the windows folder and then open system 32 folder and then paste the file over here make a right click then click on paste in my case the file is already there so if you have it you can go ahead and click on replace and then go ahead and try to launch the game and simply paste the file over here and once you have the file you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is to download visual c++ file from microsoft website so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 22 so you have to go ahead and download both x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file and once the download is complete run both the exe file click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow run the second file as well click on repair or install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete So once the installation is complete, you can go ahead and restart your computer. So click on restart and after the system restart, you can go ahead and launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and verify the game files. So to verify the game files, go to Steam and then go to library. Select the game, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. And once the verification is done, try to launch the game. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of all these error messages. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.